Yo, what is good to YouTube? It's your boy Koro back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot news video. Today we got a few images to discuss and a trailer reaction that we're going to react to and also give our thoughts and opinions as well. So with all that being said, uh, let's get right into the video. Here we have it folks, the Gingyu Force. Before we get into the discussion, shout out to the boy Dragon Ball Super Hype. His Twitter will be down below in the description. He keeps us updated with all type of Dragon Ball content and anime news, etc, etc. So go check out the boy a follow. His link will be down below again in the description down below. The Gingyu Force. Now we actually have screenshots of the Gingyu Force up on screen as well we have goldo jace i don't know why i said it like that raccoon birder and gingyu of course um we also have one image of 18 versus vegeta as well i uh, can't wait to see their fight it's just so nice to see like um dragon ball z kakarot show these type of characters off as well like because i know the graphics and animation is gonna look so dope when the game releases and also when, once we get high quality images of these images so definitely stay tuned for that as well i would like to see more images of bunya to be honest because <laughs> because like we barely got images of her and actually what she does i know that is me digressing on this but i just had to put that out there basically we just got uh the game force doing that game force pose Raccoon looks like he's about to do one of his poses. And, you know, we got Chase. Uh, Gordo doing his paralysis technique. And I think right here we have Ginyu about the body change with Goku. <laughs> Not sure what's going on right here. Can't wait to see, make out who that is. It looks like Piccolo right there. Piccolo, maybe this, oh yeah. I think there's 17. Yo, is this seven? Yo, Piccolo versus... 17 their fight was dope like this is an underrated fight in dragon ball z bro like so many people sleep on that fight yo i gotta go back and watch that fight it's been a minute it's been a minute since i seen that fight so i forgot what all went on how it all went down so i might have to go back and watch that for the culture i think that's 17 bro they're, they're, yeah this 17 because i could tell about the converse that he got on piccolo versus angel 17 yo i did not know that was that so I'm definitely hyped to see how they're going to animate that as well in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. The way they've been doing this animation, they're going to go crazy. I can already assure you of that. Vegeta vs. Android 18. Can't wait to see the thickness. That's the only thing I'm going to say on that. Over here, we have the different variations of Boo. Now, what's very interesting is that we have Evil Boo confirmed in the game as well. So, I would like to see how everything's going to plan out on that. They have every version of Boo except for um, the Piccolo version of Boo. I forgot what, what exactly you call um, their version of Boo. But uh, it's basically Boo with Piccolo um, cape on and stuff. He has orbed him. But other than that, we have every version of Boo. Evil Boo. Then we have this Boo right here. We have Boo Tanks, Boo Hunt, and Kid Boo. I uh, got to mention as well, Majin Boo as, as well. So definitely can't wait to see that in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot as well. And I don't know, it just feels so refreshing to see almost all the Boos in the Dragon Ball Z game because in the late, latest or last Dragon Ball Z games that we have been getting. We haven't been getting all the variations of Boos and Freezers, forms and things of that nature. So it's just good to see that they are actually implementing these variations into the game. So that's gonna wrap it up for the um, images that we have on screen as well. Um, I also wanted to do a little, just a mini reaction to um, this trailer that they dropped on Twitter down below. And I just want to get my thoughts and opinions on it. So let's hop right into that. All right, here we go. Let's see what's popping. Collect spare parts. I'll turn them, oh, um, dang. There are three options. r and uh, you know what? I'ma just let it be, y'all can read. Power chip, okay. Yo, you can com customize your vehicles and stuff. Your robotic vehicles. Yo, this dope. Okay. Bipedal robot. The hover car, you know, since you're driving the wheel. Okay, so you can collect different parts for the car and do upgrades on them. Yo, this is going to be dope. 
It's gonna be dope. So this is all we have. Oh yeah, this is pretty much gonna wrap it up. Oh, hey, hold on, go back, go back, yo. We got Goku in his Jaja uniform. You guys know that I was talking about. They need to add different costumes in the game. So looks like that costume will be confirmed in the game. So that's pretty dope. Like yeah, and it's just just like how I said it says sub quest. So I'm thinking some of this like the side quests and stuff like this. So you probably have to do different like side quests here and there to you know equip these uh costume variations of him. That's gonna be dope to see be implemented in the game. So yeah. Wow. Hold on guys, I gotta take this. Give me one second. A few moments later. My bad, I had to, you know, take that real quick. My bad. Um, looks like we're gonna only be able to get that. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe we'll get it if we don't pre-order the game, but you might be able to only get it if we uh pre-order the game because up here it says pre-order pre that's a pre-order. Pre-order bonuses content. Not sure how we're gonna work that out when the game come out but i do know it's in the game so i know i'm pre-ordering the game so yeah my thing is like one cooking item this must be a lot this is probably what it is it's probably a lot than what it looks like but you will think at least give give a saying at least you know what i'm saying tw 20 cooking items you know that's pretty reasonable one cooking item okay but anyway Banya, yeah, hey, I'm definitely pre-ordering her because yeah, she's gonna do a lot in uh the training mode, and I'm trying to like, level up my character as fast as I can, so definitely going to be pre-ordering the game for her. But uh, let's uh look back at it and just uh give our thoughts. So R and D, customize and level up. There are three options. Okay, I can customize my robotic vehicle. Okay, so we got the power chip. Um, I think this probably would actually activates the robot to move within itself. Here's the amount of parts that you need to build it and stuff on the side here. You know, it's got seven, um, five, and five. So this man has a lot of materials. He's been grinding, grind, grinding, grinding. Actually, almost no light. Like, he got plenty of materials. Man, you trying to sell me something? Like, sheesh. Great chest to power them. Okay. Okay, so... Here's the different colors that we can equip our bipedal robot walker. Um, you know what I'm saying? We got red, orange, yellow, green, brightest blue, blue, purple, pink, black, and white. You know what I'm saying? I personally like the red. So I'm gonna be um customizing my belt pedal robot in red. Let me know what's you guys' favorite color down below in the comments. What color are you gonna put your bipedal robot walker in? down below in the comments let me know yeah so we got jump power battery search radius acceleration and turning power so i'm assuming they probably gonna make it kind of like hard to like turn the robot and stuff so i might gonna want to level that up as well also the acceleration search radius probably uh when they say search radius and stuff i'm thinking that it's saying you know if you looking for different materials around the area um you can search for those on the little mini map that it might have i'm not sure we're gonna need some more gameplay for me to elaborate on that a little bit more but you know things like the materials and stuff that you might need like whether it be like food materials for the bipedal or by walker or even the dragon balls who knows who knows man who knows but that's what i'm assuming you're gonna want to level up the battery the power and stuff like that so they keep the robot moving digressing if you hear any noise in the background it's my fault man i live in apartments i can't wait to move <laughs> so uh just bear with me on that sorry for that i'm doing the best i can right now uh continuing uh about amount of iron that you need to have to uh creating and stuff like that now me personally um uh, i don't know i feel like the bipedal robot walker and hover car they're gonna have its advantages because you see the stats change right up here the power i noticed that the power and jump power uh changes quite a bit not too much else uh we just have to see till we get more footage on that exactly how it plays out and stuff and i'm assuming this the guy that's gonna 
be the vendor for this type of stuff because it says material shop and I, i'm assuming on um, this guy is going to be the go-to person that we're going to want to go to to purchase these different items and stuff like that different parts and stuff so i don't know exactly where he is in some type of room uh i don't know maybe somewhere around in west city somewhere that we can go inside and purchase these different parts and stuff so yeah it's showing up on screen yeah <laughs> goku in the world yes yeah, sir yes yeah, sir it looks like he's on um, oh wait there go bones house in the background right there but yeah guys it's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video if you guys enjoyed the vibes of the video make sure to leave a like and share the video with your homie so more people can see this video and just overall bring more randoms to you know driving in the wheel and uh riding the bipedal robots walkers and stuff yeah i definitely appreciate it if you do um considering hitting that subscribe button if you're new to join the round and turn on post notifications so you won't miss out on a video all that being said y'all um i'll see you guys in my next video sure